In this video, we're going to show you how to change your configuration from wireless directly to wireless network. As you can see, the scanner is in wireless directly mode right now. We will press the I button on the scanner and note down the SSID and wireless IP address. By default, the first time it will be 10.0.0.1. Now we will connect the scanner to its wireless network by left clicking on the Open Network and Sharing Center and scroll down until finding the scanner's SSID. Then we will right click on it and select Connect. We want to left click on the Open, and open Network and Sharing Center and scroll down until you find the scanner's SSID again just to make sure that it is connected to the scanner's SSID. To change the connectivity type, we will use the Setup and Connect software, which is installed along with the drivers. This is located in the uh, Start, All Programs, Kodak, Document Imaging, I11XXWN, and Setup and Connect. Click on it and it will open up the software. Click on Next. Select the configuration that depicts how your network is going to be set up. In this case, we're going to have wireless to wireless. The, the scanner will be connected wirelessly and the scanner or the PC will be connected wirelessly. Select the Needs to Configure Radio button and click on Next. Click on Next, click on Next, click on Next. Okay. Now we're going to select Use Scanner Radio button. In this case, we need to select Wireless directly. Select this computer and click on Next. From the drop-down bar, select the SSID of your scanner as it's displayed on the scanner's OCP. Next, <coughs> I mean select next, make sure you read all the instructions on these screens. It's very important. Select next on the next screen and you will be directed to the network tab of the scanner's web page. We can see that the defaults are the uh, wire network and wireless directly. First, we will select the wireless network button. Now we can see only the settings that are required by wireless network mode. In the SSID field, we will write the SSID, which is the network's name or router's name to which you want your scanner to connect with. In our case, we're going to connect it to ServiceNet. So we will write ServiceNet in the field. Be aware that the name is case sensitive. In the wireless security options, we will select the one that our router is using. You can identify that by seeing it in the user guide of your router or you can click on the network icon and right click on ServiceNet and select properties. This will open up a new window with the security tab selected and you can see that the security type of this router is WPA2 personal. You can also check what your security password or security key is by doing the clicking the box on show characters. Once you know your security type and the security key, select it from the or the security type, select it from the available options on the web page. And you will have to type the network's password that you use to connect with this network in the security key field. Make no changes to the wireless IP address section for now, unless you wish to set up a static IP address for the scanner. Now go to the bottom of the page and click on save. This will redirect you to a new page, which is a confirmation page showing all the settings and options you selected on the previous page. This will also confirm there are no errors in the information entered. Click on OK at the bottom of the page. <coughs> you can see that our settings have been saved and 
everything was in, uh, configured correctly. Close the web browser and continue with the setup and connect wizard. Select next. And at this point you want to connect your host PC to your router or your, your network. So in our case, ServiceNet. Quite often it will default to the um, correct one. But I may have to go to previous and back. Select the scanner and click next. And we wait while the computer is recognizing the scanner. Okay, then we'll click on next and we are done. Back on the scanner, you can see that the symbol has changed to wireless network on the OCP. <clears throat> now we will click on the I button to see the changes are reflected. As you can see that the SSID is now changed to ServiceNet and by scrolling down you can see that there is new wireless IP address generated and assigned to the scanner. Your scanner is now connected in a wireless network mode.